In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change VS Code theme colors and each individual color by itself. You can select a new theme by going to File, Preferences, and choosing Color Theme. Here you can select your VS Code color theme. I'm going to choose Visual Studio Lite. If you're someone who likes to change your themes a lot, you can repeat the process as many times as you want. Here I'm going to select the Abyss theme. To change the theme again, instead of going to the file menu all the time, you can simply hit Ctrl K or Command K on a Mac, followed by Ctrl T or Command T on a Mac. Now, if you want to preview a VS Code theme without actually applying it, simply use up and down keys on the keyboard. This way you can choose your favorite theme in Visual Studio Code. Now, I'm going to go and select the dark theme. Now, if you want to explore even more themes, go ahead and press Ctrl K followed by Ctrl T. And on this box here at the very top, click on Browse Additional Color Themes. VS Code is going to add all of the other available themes and you can browse through them by pressing up and down keys on your keyboard. But what you probably want to do next is to select your favorite theme and change some of its colors to your own custom colors. That's why you can fine tune and modify existing Visual Studio Code themes to exactly the colors that you want. In order to change individual colors in VS Code, go to File, Preferences, and Settings. Now in the upper right corner, click on this icon there and this will open Settings JSON file. You should have Workbench color customizations somewhere in this file. If you don't, you can simply type it into this file yourself. So here I have editor.background responsible for the main background color in VS Code. Selection background property is going to change the background color of your text selection. Just don't forget to hit Ctrl S every time you apply changes. Now, next, the foreground is your basic text. So for example, if I change foreground color to, let's say, yellow, just to demonstrate which parts are affected. You'll see columns and commas. There's other properties like text link, dot, foreground, but I don't have any examples of links on the screen right now, so you're not gonna see anything. You can also change different parts of the editor frame itself. For example, toolbar.hover background, let's say I'm going to apply green color here and control S, that will change the background color of your main navigation options on the upper menu of the editor. You can also change the background color of buttons in VS Code. So here, button.background, I change it to purple or rather magenta, just to demonstrate what's actually changing here. So here, I change it to yellow, blue, basically any kinds of buttons in VS Code. Now, you can also change the background of a text input boxes with input.background property. So here I'm changing the search boxes to whatever color you want. And input foreground is going to change the actual text inside the search input box. Another color worth mentioning is the scroll bar slider background color. This will change the background color of your scroll bars in VS Code. The two additional properties are hover background and active background. There are hundreds of other properties you can use in settings.json file to change all of your Visual Studio colors. You can find the link to this page in the description of this video. So guys, this is basically how you change colors in Visual Studio Code. Don't forget to like this video and post a comment. Thanks for doing that everyone and I'll see you in my next tutorial.